you know, I may make light of the reasons why I'm getting a divorce. But truly, one of the biggest ones is, is I've been in this masculine energy for so long that I have lost my identity. Like, I really feel like a damn man for most of the time in this relationship. I have endured things that no woman should have to deal with um, when it comes down to things like protection. Imagine now, my son, one of them, teenage son, not five years old, teenage son, thought he was going to be in an altercation with another guy. I had no idea. He walks past his dad. He walks past his brother and he says, mom, come with me. This guy is talking shit. And I want, you know, I think it was his his computer or something. He wanted something back without hesitation. I jump in the car. My gimpy post-stroke surviving self jumped in the car to take this boy to meet this kid for a potential altercation with no hesitation. I drive him over there and he actually gets into a fight. Just think about that. In a crisis, in a potential um, situation of harm, his instincts is to seek me out. Like to forego his dad or his brother, but seek me out. Like I'm the fucking goon in the family. I've been masculine for so long that we actually will go somewhere. I'll come out to the car and my husband and my son are sitting in passenger seats. Nobody's in the driver's seat. They're waiting for me. I've been in this masculine energy so long that I don't even recall more than four or five times, I'm 56, even talking about or discussing menopause or understanding that some of the emotional changes or the changes in my skin or all these different changes are coming from that. No concept of it. My brother-in-laws used to talk mad shit to me, just the most inappropriate, most vulgar things that they could say to me. And because I think maybe because of the military, likely, I would just talk shit back. But the fact that my husband allowed it in his presence for them to say the most deplorable things, the most disgusting, vulgar things to me, and him not feel the need to protect me from them, that's crazy. And it didn't even occur to me until my boys got older. Like, so we're talking about years. When my boys got like eight and 11 years old and they were actually in the room and noticing this, that's when I spoke up. Because it occurred to me that my sons were witnessing the disrespect and how their their uncles were treating women. And I didn't want that to be their standard. And when I approached my husband about it, he said, oh, well, you seemed fine and you were giving it right back to him. But were you fine with it, sir? I've been masculine for so long. I'm constantly thinking about filters. HVAC filter, water dispenser filter, the air filters in the car. I was reading this whole list about if you've been imbalanced for so long and I'm checking all the boxes. The self-care that's for shit, the freaking burnout, the stress that I've been carrying and just the impact it has had on my physical body. Like, I walk around every day with a headache of some degree, literally every day. And sure, it may be related to the stroke, or the stroke is related to the stress, either way. I mean, when the kids were younger, I was doing both putting Hot Wheel tracks together, building Legos, and also bedazzling uh, dance costumes, cooking, and cutting grass. So yeah, I'm fucking tired. And it's not just me jumping into these roles. Um, My husband made space for me to be in these roles. He sought me out for some of these masculine roles. Like literally, if there was something heavy to lift. Now the two youngest are over six feet tall, 180 pounds, give or take. But he would seek me out. Babe, come help me move the couch. Babe, come help me move the table. And if you're wondering, yes, even intimately, in the past, Me initiating was a treat, but then that became the norm in this relationship. 